Men making over $100,000 per year. How hard was it to get over that threshold? Honestly much harder to get from 50 to 80. After that, it was a pretty smooth transition. I just had to wait until 100k wasn't actually that much money anymore. Took me about 3 years of sales experience to start making 6 figures. I eventually quit and went back to school for my engineering degree. Then spent about a year working junior roles until I finally started making 6 figures. Which in total took about 5 years. Both paths were extremely difficult in their own way. Anytime you are making six figures there are big stakes involved which also means big swings. Literally had to change jobs I fought tooth and nail to get into the 80s and 90s. Then expected my annual raise to get me to tilde $101,000. Nope $99,985. I got a new job three months later. Starting salary $100,000. Yes, I am that petty. Started working at a high-end restaurant, took me two years to go from essentially a busboy to the head bartender, which isn't exactly a normal route towards six figures, but the only threshold that was hard was trading more of my time to work extra shifts to clear that amount. Slitte. I have a friend that worked as a waitress in a high-end place. She made greater than $100 per hour while she worked through college. She finally got her degree and a desk job to make $25 per hour. $50,000 per year. TBH this is why income doesn't always tell the whole story. 100k per year while pushing the limits of your body every day versus a very cozy desk job with benefits and stability that allows you to thrive outside of work even on much less pay. Then factor in potential ceiling will that low paying cozy desk job lead to higher paying cozy desk jobs. Edit for the snobs in my replies. Never waited tables but I've worked tons of manual labor jobs in my life. I've worked many 80 plus hour weeks for two dead end jobs because I needed the money. I am very happy to have a desk job with benefits now. Also, waiting tables is high stress. Tons of asshole customers, tons of running around, never resting. Even if you're fit, that's a hard toll on the body, physically mentally. If you're doing it for 8 plus hours a day every day. Not very. I had a 10 year plan when I got into the career I'm in and hit the 6 figure threshold in 8. I burn almost my entire 20s working though, so it really depends whether you have the stomach for that kind of life. It was super hard until it wasn't. I started as a junior engineer making maybe 45k and working 65 hours weeks. I had to keep quitting and finding new jobs to make more money because my industry has the idea that plus 0.50 per hour is a great raise. I job hopped for about 8 years before landing a middle management position now I work way less and my salary is much bigger and so are my bonuses. Moral of the story is don't listen to what your boss says. They are paid way more than you think and work less than you do. It wasn't too tough for me in terms of workload, but there was a lot of luck and a few key decisions involved. I first broke 6 figures at either 29 or 30, can't remember exactly where. I'm at $160,000 base now plus cash and stock bonuses worth about $50,000, at 31. The two biggest factors have been making sure I'm well liked, and making sure I'm in the right place at the right time. For example, I felt my growth stagnate at a not very successful company, so I left for a rival that was on the upswing. That's making sure I'm in the right place at the right time. I quickly work to establish a positive reputation at this new company. Often, that's doing great work. But a lot of the time, it's got nothing to do with my actual work. It's forgiving honest mistakes other people might make. It's remembering a life event a coworker told you about and asking them for an update. It's sharing ideas with the CEO because you know that's what he respects. Once I knew I was well liked, I made it clear comp was the number one factor for me. I wasn't afraid to express disappointment when I felt short changed with a raise. I was also willing to entertain competing offers, which my company has matched or beat. Honestly 80% of being promoted is making sure you have a good reputation and everyone likes you. You just need to be average or slightly above average at your job. I married it. It took 3 degrees and 29 years of experience for me to get there. It was a natural progression. I started working in 1997. $15 per hour, past 100k in 2011. Salaried. As you know, $15 an hour was a nice start in 1997. 
Well done.